workout buddies and welcome to this week's workout. So today we are doing a glute burnout cardio finisher. And now I designed this workout for basically for my coaching clients. Um, for some of them at the end of their weight training sessions, I recommend that they do like a really short glute burnout cardio finisher. And instead of writing down all the little exercises in their program, I thought, well, it'd be easier just make a video so that they can just watch the video and see the moves and I can just put the link in the program it's a lot easier so that's why I'm making this video and I figured that you guys would also appreciate this little 12 minute cardio glute burnout finisher that you could try out at the end of your leg day or whatever other strength training program that you're doing it's just a good little thing to add on at tack on at the end just so you know really just finish it off right so there isn't going to be a warm-up for this video because it's assumed that you'll already be warmed up from your workout um, but also if you're just at home and you want to do this workout as a standalone workout maybe you can you want to pair it with like another shorter video from my channel you can totally do that as well um, just make sure you're warmed up and to do that just go and do the four minute warm-up from any of my other recent videos that'll be just fine so then you can jump right into this video so for this workout all you're going to need is some bands like this and a chair or a bench something to prop your hip or your shoulders up against to do hip thrusts and that is it the rest will be body weight and just with these bands so let's do this all right guys so let's start by placing the band around our thighs above the knee um, I'm using uh, the heavy band my set came with four different resistance levels this is the third heaviest there's one there's like a super heavy one I'm using the heavy one so we'll use whatever one you think is appropriate I'm going to be using the same band for the entire workout so I don't want to have to like switch around it's kind of annoying so pick the band that you think suits you best try the heavy band or the medium band I would say okay so we're going to start with single leg hip thrusts so have your sofa or your bench or whatever you're using heavy or heavy <laughs> ready <laughs> And that's it. I'm gonna press start now. So come to the couch or the bench. You're gonna cross the left leg over the right. Keep the hips pointing towards the sky. Brace the core, hinge at your hips. And squeeze on the way up and keep the tension and keep squeezing on the way down as well. Keep those hips level, keep the chin tucked. Keep the core engaged. You don't want to be collapsing through your low back, moving through your low back in this exercise, especially if you're doing this exercise with a barbell, which you won't be right now, but you know, during your actual lifting session, if you're doing this with a barbell, super important to keep that low back stable. Five seconds left. Good job. Okay, now you're going to come into all fours. We're doing banded bird dogs. So this is kind of like a donkey kick, glute kickback move that involves a little bit more core as well. And we're just alternating sides. So go ahead. Really squeeze that glute when you're kicking it back. And do not rotate through your core. Keep the core tight. Really squeeze the glute when you're kicking it back. I know I already said that, but it's easy to forget and to, to let your mind wander when you're doing these exercises. But it really, really helps to really send your mind to your muscle fully engage, fully be present with what you're doing. You're gonna get the best results that way. Okay, now we're gonna do a single leg hip thrust with the left leg. So you're gonna cross your right leg over your left. Tuck your chin, brace your core, keep your hips level. Push through that heel. Keep the tension in your glutes. All the way down, don't let go. Push up through your heel. Push your hips up as high as you can. Maintain neutral spine. 
20 seconds left. This is the ultimate booty building exercise. It's 10 seconds. Good. Okay, now we're doing hip abductions two ways. So you're gonna hold on to something, slight bend in your knee, you know, one out to the side, two to the back, alternating to the side, to the back. Working that glute in a couple different ways. Again, really send that focus, that mental focus to the glutes. Brace that core. Should be burning by now. We've got 20 seconds left. Next round, we're gonna do the other side. That standing leg should be burning now too. I'm really feeling it in my glutes as well on the standing leg. Good, okay. We're gonna do three pulses, three squats, three squat jumps. Get ready. Pulse it low. One, two, three, three full squats. One, two, three, three squat jumps. One, two, three, pulse it. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, three jumps. One, two, three, pulse it. One, two, three, full squats. One, two, three, squeeze your booty on the way up. Three jumps. One, two, three, hold. One, two, three, one, okay. Now we're gonna move our band down to our ankles for some lateral walks. Brace that core. Don't let your knees cave in. You really should feel your outer glutes engaging here. You're doing great, come on. 20 seconds left. I know it's burning, keep it going. This isn't called a burnout for nothing, right? Seven seconds. Oh my goodness. This is brutal. Oh. Okay guys, back to the beginning. Move the band back above your knees. Single leg hip thrust with the right leg. Cross that left leg over. Oh yeah, you feeling that in your booty? I'm feeling it. Brace the core, tuck the chin, lower and squeeze with control. Really feel your glutes engaging here. Halfway there. seconds. Okay, I know the butt is burning, but just keep going. Almost there. Okay, we're going to go into banded bird dog. Arms underneath your shoulders. Squeeze and kick back. This is about control. Don't rush this. Don't rotate, brace your core. Nothing moves except for the arm and the leg. And when you're lifting that leg, just really squeeze that glute. Five 
seconds left. You're almost there. Good. Alrighty. Single leg hip thrust, left leg. So you're going to cross that right leg over. Brace the core. Keep those hips level. Hinge at your hips. Coming down. Squeezing it up. Not moving through your back. Really keep your core tight so that you're not moving through your back and hinge at your hips. Tuck your chin. Keep the tension in your glutes all the way down and squeeze on the way up. 15 seconds left. Good. Okay. Two way hip abduction. So I'm going to be facing away from you. Remember now, it's one out to the side, one out uh, behind you. You can still see me? Yep. To the side, to the back. Brace your core. Make sure your standing leg is slightly bent. It's going to burn. Oh man, my butt is cramping up, especially on that standing leg. Oh my gosh. Good job, you guys. Okay. A little more cardio. Three pulses, three squats, three squat jumps. Let's go, pulse it. One, two, three, three squats. One, two, three, three jumps. One, two, three, three pulses. One, two, three, three squats. One, two, three, Three jumps. One, two, three. Three pulses. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jumps. One, two, three. Pulse it. Oh, good job. All right. Move the band down to your ankles. And we're gonna lateral walk it out. This is the last exercise in the in the in the intervals. We got one more thing after this, but don't worry. This is the last interval. Remember to keep your hips facing forward. And don't collapse with your knees. Don't let them uh, collapse inwards. You want a slight bend in your legs. Ooh, are you feeling it yet? We've got 15 seconds left. I know it's burning. Oh yeah. Good. All right, you guys. We finished this. Now we're gonna finish the whole thing off. Okay, so we're gonna go for 10, sorry, 15 frog pumps and 10 squat jumps. We're gonna repeat that twice, so let's get right to it. So for the frog pumps, you wanna bring your feet in towards your butt and open your legs out like this. You wanna tuck your pelvis under, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Now you're gonna push your hips up while keeping your knees down. Okay, so we're gonna go for 15 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, really squeeze, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, good. Get up, quick. Ten squat jumps. We're gonna touch down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Screw it, let's do 15. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Back into the frog pumps. Get down, squeeze the glutes. Tuck the pelvis, push the hips up, keep the knees down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five. Good. Get up. 15 squat jumps, and that's it. We're done. Here we go. Hands up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Oh, five more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Holy. All right. Great work, you guys. Ah, that was awesome. Hope your butt is burned out and you got some good cardio in there. I sure did. Oh, all right, I hope you enjoyed this little workout, this little finisher burnout. And if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do create custom weightlifting programs based on your need, your goals, and experience, etc. I can't talk right now. Um, but if you're interested in that, I'll leave my information in the description box, so feel free to check that out and send me an application for coaching if you're interested. Okay guys, thank you so much for working out with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.